Now let's look at our second example. It's called a uh, watermelon. So if I click this, this is what I have. So if you haven't uh, looked at this problem before, I suggest you pause the video, uh, read the problem, and uh, try to figure out uh, uh, how you would do it. So in essence, uh, what the problem asks us to do is to determine whether an input number can be expressed as the sum of two positive even numbers. So uh, I remember my first reaction when seeing the problem is it looks like we want the number to be a multiple of four, because if it is a multiple of four, then we can divide it into two even part, into uh, equal part, and both of them will be uh, even. Uh, so without uh, uh, thinking further to, to determine whether that's uh, absolutely correct for this problem, let's just try to implement that first. So the question is, how do we check whether a number is a multiple of four? And uh, the natural way to do it in uh, programming is to use the mod operator, which is uh, expressed using this uh, percent symbol. So uh, when we write x uh, mod y, that means we want the remainder of dividing x by y. So for example, 7 mod 3 is 1, because when we divide 7 by 3, the quotient is 2 and the remainder is 1. And uh, 25 mod 5 is 0. Uh, because 25 is a multiple of, uh, of 5. So in some sense, uh, these allow us, this uh, percent uh, operator, this mod operator allows us to determine whether one number is multiple than the other by simply checking whether the, the, the remainder of uh, dividing that number is 0. So uh, I want you to think about uh, what will the following three line uh, output. Uh, so I suggest you to think about it um, and then uh, uh, type them uh, into your uh, Python interpreter uh, and then see see whether your conjecture are correct. So we're actually going to uh, do that uh, on online GDB. So we copy that. So let's run this. Oh, so we get an exit code one. So that means there's an error. So we click on the std error, we see an error message. So let's copy this uh, error message out. Um, hopefully this will be uh, a little bit easier to see than in the, in the online GDP window. So what it says is the line one, the error occurs at line one, so print 12% zero, and the error is a zero division error, integer division or modular by zero. So uh, the Python doesn't allow us to do uh, mod zero, so which makes sense because um, a mod is essentially division. It's just that after dividing, we don't want the quotient, we want the remainder. So uh, I'm sure you have learned that in math, so one of the rules about the division is you cannot divide something by zero. So let's comment this out. So let's not do this and then run the rest of the code. So we get two and three. Um, so make sure you understand why that is the case. So 12 mod five is two, so that's uh, pretty natural. Um, but if someone asks you to give an explanation why 12 mod five, uh, 12 mod five is, uh, is two, well, I guess you probably just say divide it by, by, by five and you got the remainder. So mathematically, what that means is uh, 12 can be written as the integer times five plus the remainder, and in this case, it's, it's two. And we want the remainder to be less than five and the greater than or equal to zero. Now, if we apply the same rule on negative 12, what we get is we want the sum integer multiply five and then plus something. So uh, the way to do it, you can think of, we want to find the multiple of five that's less than negative 12. So then that will be negative 15. So uh, in order to get negative 15, I'll have negative three here. And then uh, if I have a negative 15, I need a plus 2. So it's a multiple 5 uh, and uh, plus 2. So therefore, the, no, uh, plus 3. Yeah, so negative 15 plus 3 is negative 12. So the remainder is, uh, uh, is, uh, is 3. So that's why this, this is uh, this way. And um, more precisely, these are the rules. So when y is 0, x percent y will result in an error, so because this is uh, uh, dividing by 0. 
uh, and that means the execution will stop and we will see an error message from the std err screen. And when y is greater than zero, so x mod y is always a number in this range. So uh, this square bracket means that it could equal zero. So uh, r is greater than or equal to zero. And uh, this uh, uh, parenthesis means that it cannot equal y. So in the, it has to be uh, less than y. Um, so that there exists a integer k where x equals k times y plus r. And Python actually also allows y to be a negative number. Uh, and in fact, it allows uh, either or both of x and y to be non-integers. You can use, say, 1.5. Uh, you can do 12.5 mod uh, 5.5. Um, and uh, if you are curious, you can figure out what that uh, value, what those values are, and uh, try to figure out uh, uh, what are the rules behind that, why that uh, makes sense. Um, uh, but we recommend using the percent only for integers. Integers, uh, integer value y, and only when y is uh, greater greater than zero. So, um, in order to in order to be able to check whether the remainder is zero or not, we need to use a comparison operator. So this will compare two numbers, and then it will give a result uh, that is either true or false. So technically, this is known as a boolean value. Um, uh, but for us, it's really just, it's a, it's a value that can be either true or false. I think that intuitively makes sense. Um, and there are six comparison operators. So equal, we use uh, this uh, double equal sign um, because a single equal sign is used for uh, assignment. So confusing this uh, single equal and double equal sign will be one of the common errors for beginners. So uh, in your first couple of program you write, uh, you may make those mistakes, so just uh, be really careful when you are trying to write the uh, comparison. Uh, make sure you are using double equal instead of single equal. And uh, there are two ways to express not equal. So one is to use this uh, less than sign and greater than. So I guess you this means that it's either less than or greater than, therefore not equal. Or you can also use this uh, exclamation mark and equal. So exclamation mark in programming often means uh, not. So negation. So this is literally you can read that as not equal. And greater than less than should be familiar. So greater than or equal to, uh, we use this. And less than or equal to, uh, we use this. 